Moraga, a fast-moving wildfire evacuated about 150 families overnight. It burned 50 acres. There's no word on how it started, but fire officials did eliminate power line and lightning as causes. KPX 5's Don Lynn joins us now with how residents were notified during the power outage. Don? Veronica, we're on Moraga Row and the power came back at five o'clock. You can see the lights at the 7-Eleven came back on and take a look at the traffic signals here. Uh, those lights are also back on. But earlier this morning when there was no power, the police chief says it was back to the pre-internet, pre-cell phone days, banging on doors to evacuate people. They banged on our front door and rang the doorbell until they woke us up. A lot of people were asleep when the fire broke out. And since pg &E shut off power to parts of Moraga last night, the police department could not reach evacuees via landlines. And cell phone reception is very limited in the Sanders Ranch neighborhood where the fire was burning not the perfect storm, it was the worst storm. The police chief says emergency responders used reverse 911 and Nixle to alert people in the fire zone. But many people say due to the power outage, they could not get notifications. The police and firefighters went back to the good old fashioned way, bullhorns and door knocking, one o'clock in the morning. We're used to street lights, we're used to ambient light, uh, light from our homes. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any of that last night. This man is one of the few with power because of his solar panels. Problem was his communication providers lost power, so he also could not get any official alerts. We had no cellular, no internet, but yeah, our neighbors woke us up and then everybody's driving up and down the street honking horns and yelling and knocking on doors. Yeah, so it was a whole neighborhood effort to get everybody up. <laughs> and knocking on front doors. And again, with the power out, you don't know if the home is occupied or not. Even though the fire is now out, most evacuees remain on high alert due to the gusty winds. Many people say the winds during the daytime were much stronger than when the fire broke out. It's not very settling right now, um, but we're back. You can tell how windy it is in that interview. Now evacuation order lifted, no homes destroyed, no injuries. That's the good news. And the police chief says he'll have to figure out what's the best way to get those alerts out in the future. Uh, this is just another reminder and a good reminder for folks to really get to know their neighbors. As the saying goes, a good neighbor beats any technology you can buy. Live in Moraga, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.